Hey guys, Noah here, back with another LEGO review. I know I've been promising this review for a, quite a while, almost a month now. So, yeah, but anyway, this is the LEGO set, Batman Classic TV Series Batcave, set for ages 14 and up, which I will be 14 years old in May of this year. So, I kind of count it. Uh, it is set number 76052, and it has 2,526 pieces. Now, this is based on the 1966 Batman uh, TV show or movie. Yes, there is a movie. I, it's the, uh, I've watched that movie a lot. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so, uh, I have been... Uh, saying that I will review this set for a long time. Uh, ever since, like, January. And I actually built this set live, uh, on a live stream, a couple, back on December 25th when I got this. It's about six hours long, um, and, um, it's basically, um, I wouldn't, I, I'm not asking you guys to go watch a six hour long video made by somebody like me gonna ask if you're gonna watch a six hour long video make sure it's a good one honestly um but i mean the reason i i didn't go all the way and build the full thing on that thing is because this set is big and i was only um about a, a, a bit done when i quit the live stream so i decided just not to do the full thing and i'm just trying to get this situated correctly Right now. Okay, I think that's as good as I'm going to get. Anyway, let's go over accessories for the minifigures. You get three of these, these dynamite pieces, which are sculpted to look like sticks of dynamite with a fuse sticking out at the top, and they're bundled together. You get four batarangs, standard batarang, two sets of handcuffs, and... Grappling hook, which is very long. You can barely see it, but there um and it's tied up it's tied at both ends with a little hook. So that's cool. Anyway, um let's go into minifigures starting off with Robin, who is my uh, first official like standard suit Robin. Um, in the standard green, yellow, and red. Um, he looks nice. Uh, he's in his underwear for some reason. Uh, that's what his costume was in the 60s. And, um, he's got his belt, which has a circle for the clasp, or the buckle. Then you got, uh, the, the things that hold it together, the R's, uh, Printed nicely. This cape, uh, shorter. It's the newer style of cape, but it's short cape. So it doesn't go all the way to the legs. And yes, those legs are printed, but not to the back, which is a bit weird. The arms are dual molded, also. And then you got the, uh, belt at the back with those gold canisters. And yeah, he's pretty cool. He has, um, two faces. This happy-looking one and this shocked one. I kind of would have liked a neutral one, like a closed mouth, or a blank face one. But, I mean, I have plenty faces like that, I guess. Or I could paint one up. Next, we have Adam West Batman, who, his uh, legs are dual molded, but his arms are not. Cape, still newer style. It's just a yellow utility belt. This one has, again, two different shades of gold printing. That, sta that iconic Batman logo in the middle of the chest. Um, some muscle definition, if you would like to call it that. His cowl is actually printed. Um, and it's printed with those, again, iconic um, black front and the, and the nose flap piece and the eyebrows. For faces, he has this one. It's kind of like regular Batman faces but just in dark blue or the head is in dark blue the printing is in 
dark tan and white. And then you got that. Angry face and smirking face. Now for... Um, let's go on to Tim Drake, who... Er, this is uh, not Tim Drake. I'm sorry. This is... um. Uh, what's his name? Dick Grayson. Yeah. Richard Grayson. Whatever. No printing on the legs. And, uh, I don't know if this, uh, torso print is unique to him, but it's kind of nice. Um, this head, I know for sure, is not unique. Because I've seen those expressions, uh, on other figures. And then, we have Batman's alter ego, uh, Adam what or Adam West, Bruce Wayne, um, wearing this nice suit, um, with that little metal there, like three layers of suit, or that's like a scarf. There's only a bit of printing on the back, which is okay. I've this is um, Ant Man's face, or the original Ant Man set. Ant Man from the original Ant Man set. That is his face. This is his face, or Ezra Bridger's face, I think. But he's got the same hairpiece as Robin and uh, Dick Grayson, just in a uh, darker brown. So yeah, next we go on to Alfred, who is my first official Alfred minifigure. Um, he's uh, looking very old with all the wrinkles and the glasses and the mustache and the white uh, hair. That hair type is used two times in this uh, set. Then he's got a smiling face on the back. I like this one more because, well, my version of Batman... Christian Bale Batman is a bit darker. Yeah, I like Christian Bale Batman the most. The Nolan trilogy. It's a spicy meat ball. But, um, there's a suit. I don't know. I, this suit is probably not an uh, exclusive print. Next, we have the villains. We have the Riddler, who just has a question mark on his torso. Again, those muscles defined there with printing then the sash made out of lavender hands in lavender uh mask in lavender he's got this um strange hair piece i don't see used a lot but he's got a smiling face and a uh surprised or shocked face or question face next let's go to catwoman um who has her whip um which Acts kind of like a whip. Um, her hair is a new mold. Uh, it's got the cat ears printed in black. The uh, printing is nice with the gold and the uh, grays and stuff. And there's, again, gold on the back. She has two faces, a smiling one and one without a mask, but is still smirking. So, yeah, you can have her displayed like this, too, if you want. I like her like this because it adds more mystery to the figure. And then she falls over because the whip is fairly large. Actually, um, there are nine minifigures in this set, so that's cool. Penguin, he has his umbrella, which is not the newer style umbrella that's folded up. It's the out umbrella the one that's splayed out uh monocle face has a monocle on it smiling no double head printing because he's because of the hat doesn't have a hair piece to cover up the back of the head <clears throat> there's the hat and lavender bow tie printed in lavender uh suit makes him look a bit bigger to make him more uh accurate to the actor or the Actually, this is not accurate to the actor, but, I mean, it's like, what are you going to do? But this figure, however, is very accurate, down to a certain detail above the lip. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a mustache. Yes, this is Joker played by Cesar Romero, and he refused to shave his mustache while being the Joker, so he just painted over it with the white makeup and then... Put everything else on. Again, uh, this is the same hair piece as Alfred. Uh, he's smiling here with some nasty teeth. Uh, 
nice suit with uh, stripes going down the legs. Um, then he has two faces. This one, um, I don't really like, but a lot of people do for some reason. I just, I kind of like this one more because this is how I see the Joker just smiling instead of, instead of uh, making this face, which I imagine he sounds like, ooh, something like that. Pretty stupid, but anyway, now onto the set. Let's go into vehicles, starting with the smallest. We're going to clear out all these accessory bits, knock over Robin. Got the Bat Cycle, which is a standard uh, Lego motorcycle with a brick built sidecar. Yeah. It's also got a spare tire on the back for the sidecar and a bat fin and other things. That's cool. Um, we gotta save that one for last. We got the Batcopter, which was used in only the uh, original movie that came before the show. It spins. This is actually the uh, latest set that I know of that has used that is using flick fire missiles. Actually, flick fire missiles are used once more. There, um, I like flick fire missiles more than stud shooters or the spring loaded ones. Not that that they use nowadays. Why? Well, because I have nostalgia for them. That's basically the only reason. Um, I grew up playing with Lego where they had this uh, the flick fire missiles. Is what they call these. Um, but, I mean, they worked fine, but they were like, oh no, advances, and the Lego movie, oh, I, I really hate flick fire, mi or spring load shooters, and they're actually used on this set. Why not just get rid of them then? Pop, pop, nah, I'm, I'm not gonna do that yet. Anyway, uh, red stud here, green stud here for like flashing lights. This is printed, um, one of the very few printed parts in this set, other than the minifigures. Yeah, that set, this set had like almost over 20, let me check. I still have the, um, the sticker sheet, let me see. Like, almost 30 stickers, I think it was like 29 or something, so yeah. Got these little things that can be adjusted back here, but only slightly. And it's got these handlebars here that are there for no reason. Sticker, that's a sticker. There's another one over here. No reason for them to be there other than to be sort of accurate. This this back stabilizer propeller is too big, but it spins nicely. Also, this is a flick fire missile. It's a flick fire missile too. You can't really tell, but it is. That's a sticker right there. These uh, bat fins right here on that. Those are stickers. That's another problem. Or another problem. That's a problem, honestly. Yeah, you can't really hold it from back there without it falling apart. But hey, why would you ever want to? Well, maybe I'm gonna create a stop motion and. I don't want my hand to be seen, so I'm going to have it like this, but, oh, look, there's your hand. So anyway, uh, that goes on the helipad up there. Next, we go to my favorite vehicle, but also, it's not the best Batmobile. I will be using this from now on in the stop motions because it's, it's a nice build, but... <laughs> I, I don't care for these. These can go die in a hole now that I'm actually doing the review. The downside to that is leave a gap there. I can probably put a couple bricks there to cover that up. Anyway, this thing is covered in stickers. That's a sticker. That's an actual print, which is surprising me, to me. That's a sticker. There's a sticker over here. Sticker, sticker, sticker. And where's the next sticker? Well, that's all the stickers. That's not a lot of stickers. Now what? That's not 29. There's also a trunk back here that you can put your spare flick or uh, flick fire, flick fire, spring load shoot, stud shooter missile, stud shooters back there. You can put your spare studs for the stud shooters. And then you got battle rings and handcuffs back there. There we go. And it doesn't like closing properly. So it, most of the time, 
ends up popping off. So that's a downside. These things, uh, there's supposed to be three of them. There's two. I can forgive that. I can probably add a third one myself. But yeah, that says emergency bat turn lever. That's referring to this right here. This lever right there. There's a steering wheel. There's cockpit. Cockpit. Uh, it's called a seat, Noah. There's the uh, little gold thing that's there for no reason. There's the front of the car, which kind of looks like a bat. There's the back of the car with this thing that, that is actually, that can't spin, which is surprising. Um, anyway, on this side, that's a sticker again. These prints are nice. I kind of like those. It says detectoscope, and then there's a phone that wouldn't be able to work. Now... How does a minifigure look while sitting in this Batmobile? Well, let's put Batman in it. Not Robin, because Robin, you don't deserve it. There's Batman. His cape sticks up unless you tuck it down under, which I don't like doing. Because it most of the time ends up like that. Then you have to like pull apart parts or take him completely out. But there. He, lo he looks kind of like that. From the front, he looks... Like that, you can barely see him. You can see the top of his cowl. And then, yeah, that happens most of the time before it, you pull off. You pull out the uh, the cowl before you pull out the actual figure. Anyway, now we have to go on to other parts of the set, and I gotta stand up for this. It's gonna be a long video. Here is a uh, lie detector. It says true or lie. Red. Or, Red for lie, green for true. And I like to imagine that it goes with this little contraption. This is like a recording thing. You open up this drawer. There's three more uh, printed recording tile or tape tiles. They're tapes because this is the 60s. <gasps> What's a tape? I hear those. Younger kids asking, well, a tape is a certain thing that was from, that was popular in the 20th century. <clears throat> it's also what G1 Soundwave plays, I'm pretty sure. I I want to get a G1 Soundwave, or, or at least a, a reproduction of the G1 Soundwave toy. This is just a drawer. When I say G1 Soundwave, I mean G1 Transformers. This is a drawer cabinet thing. There's nothing inside the drawers, so they can all be taken out and stuff. You can just have that if you want. So That's pretty cool. Not really, but I'm just going to say that so that we can move on. Next, we have this little shelf with things, which has the third printed piece right there, that little uh, circle part. This is the first time I've ever gotten one of these parts. Um... Uh, uh, just, just period. It's the first time I've ever gotten one of those. And if you like, uh, translucent heads, minifigure heads, this might be a set for you, because it comes with four of them. Then you got this little table over here, which has a magnifying glass, really works. And then you get three other, uh, flasks. This one is supposed to go with the Joker, I think. I don't think it's supposed to have that, but I put it over here, like, this is, like, the villain's lab or something. Or it could be Batman's. It's Lego. Use your imagination. It's got four little legs there. It stands perfectly fine. If I push down on it, it doesn't sink in. So that's it's A-OK. -okay. Next, we got some little things to pull out. I'm surprised I haven't made a dabbing joke in this video. Jeez. This is what a time crunch does to you. Anyway, you get two of these things. Um, which are uh, little things with that same printed part on there. They, those are stickers. Uh, another sticker. Then you get two of these builds. Um, that's a sticker. Another one, that's another sticker, if it'll focus. There we go. Don't know what those are depicting, so, yeah. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, there. And there we have this contraption. I don't know what these do. You can just scatter them around the bat cave if you want. I like keeping them over here because they're compact and it makes and it takes up less space on the shelf, which I'm actually running low on shelf space. So, if any of you have shelves that you could donate to me, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm just joking, but honestly, if you if you want to get rid of some shelves, just just comment down below and I'll or uh, go uh, to my Instagram. Probably a link will be in the description. Send me a message or something. I'll be lit, fam. Anyway. Uh. Oh, I didn't. Did I show you this one? I didn't talk about this one. Yeah, I don't really have to. It's it's not very cool. There's our f fifth one of those. And I'm sorry. They're actually um five printed pieces so far. So I'm just going to leave all those bits out for the moment. Because, yeah. Okay, now on to the sections. And you want to know something? They can actually be detached from each other. So, yeah. Let's go over here. So, here is the, um, what would you call this? Uh, study. Bruce Wayne's study. Um, it's where he has a bookshelf. A fish on the wall, which is misaligned. Um, picture of Thomas Wayne and Martha Wayne, his parents. Got some trophies, gold one, silver, and then a plain gray one, which are attached to the thing through jumper plates. They just attach on one stud, which doesn't provide the most stability. <clears throat> then he has this little table. It basically has his Shakespeare bust. I'll get into what that does. Files on Mr. Freeze, the question mark man, or Riddler. The red telephone. Yeah. I wish I could somehow get that exclusive minifigure, but I don't know where to get him. <coughs> Brooklink. Yeah, he's expensive. Um, then you have this uh, globe on four legs, which just goes next to the um, table. Okay, what does the Shakespeare bus do? Well, it lifts up, and there's a little button. In the show... His head lifts back. Well, in this one, they have limitations. I actually want to come up with a way to fix this, but I have limited parts in tan, so... <coughs> Bricklink. <coughs> now, I've never actually ordered anything from Bricklink, even though I know it's, like, really nice website. There's a sticker for the button. You press that button, and guess what happens? Fans of the 60s show, you'll know this. You press the button... And although this isn't motorized, somebody probably already motorized it, the bookcase moves. And um, what what's behind there? Well, Dick and Bruce. Those are the bat poles. How do you get more light in there? Whoa, look, the roof uh, moves and stuff. And cool. And yeah. Also, there are birds up here. They're supposed to be stone. But, I mean, you can take them off and pretend, oh, hey, I'm a bird. So this brings us to the outside of the uh, manor, of Wayne Manor. I just knocked off a bat, which there are a lot of bats in the set. This is the roof. Television antenna, a lot of greeblies, and then a gutter. I think that's what they're called. And then you got windows, which this is a nice build. I really like this build. Um, Nice uh, green uh, plates used there. I like green plates for some reason. I don't know why. Then you got foliage over here and some again nice window builds. You can actually open these up and like stick your finger in there or something. You can not unfortunate unfortunately you cannot put a minifigure in there that I know of. So why would there be a back to this set? Well if we lower the camera a bit, which uh, I hate doing this. Makes me feel unprofessional. You know what else makes me feel unprofessional? Rambling. Rambling on and on and on and on and on and on and on. I think that's a thing. Ah, oh, shoot. It's sticking up somewhere. Well, I'll fix that later. 
Well, what you can do is you can take a minifigure, Bruce Wayne, for example, and stick them on one of these studs. Then, why is the grappling hook included? Well, you get the grappling hook, put it in the gutter, and, like, fit it through their hand. Leave the end on the... Or you can wrap it around them or something. That's what I'm going to do right now. And then leave the other end on the ground. It looks like they're walking on the building. So you can recreate that uh, opening shot. Yes, that is Devastator in the worst spot available. Um, so yeah. Then maybe you could try and fit somebody over here. Like in the window, but I don't know. Maybe you could fit... Let's try Alfred. No, it doesn't work. Okay, cool. Nice to know. Anyway, uh, let's uh, go over here. And I'm going to raise up the camera again. Blah, blah, blah. I know, I just... I just took something. Also, um, up here, where this uh, little place is supposed to be, right here, it's supposed to be... It's already there, Noah. What are you talking about? Well, um, there was originally a cat with the set. I dropped it, and I cannot find it. I honestly don't miss it. There was no reason for it to be there other than just... Oh, look, Catwoman's been here. Whoa! But you can put minifigs in here and, like, maybe have a battle if you balance them right. Or they can fall off and break their back. Anyway, let's raise up the camera again. Do 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 <coughs> So I'm just going to close this bookshelf. So what you do, or at least what I'm going to do, um, is you take your minifigure of... Dick uh, Grayson or uh, uh, Bruce Wayne, and you put them in there, close up the roof, fix the antenna. That's the most sh stupid part of the set. I hate the antenna. I don't, I honestly wouldn't miss it if they just took it out. But anyway, there's Dick right there. Just open up the back. But the poles don't lead down to the actual bat cave. So what you do, close that up, or at least I close it up, and well, I'm going to take a, real, a quick break to set this up first. Can we get a replay of that? So, let me give you another replay from another angle. There's Robin. He's Tim... Uh, Dick Grayson has magically changed to Robin. Now, how do you set this up is... Well, you have these platforms. And you take your character, put them on these little bars here. And you push them up, put them on the platform. And then once you're ready, they enter the Batcave. So, down here... Uh, you take your minifigure out, and you make them walk around and stuff, and blah, 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 I'm playing in the back cave, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that's that. Now, on to um, my least favorite part. No, my second least favorite part, <clears throat> or section. This is my least favorite, because it's boring. Um, Get a chip. Get a chair that goes to a desk and people can sit in it. I don't care about chairs. I want the actual build. So, yeah. And you gotta be careful with this build. Because it can break in parts. Like, if you pick it up by here. It's just gonna do that. So don't do that. Idiot. Don't freaking break your toys. This thing is expensive. It goes for like $200. Which... Honestly, it's outrageous. <clears throat> anyway, here you have some sticker detail, and yes, those are meant to be uh, opposite from each other in the way that they're put up. I checked with the instructions. Then you got the sticker, Keep Off Atomic Pile. There's some other uh, uh, prints. There's the sixth print. The sixth print that we have, those, those uh, four prints are set around everywhere. 
on this build, which actually you take these pillars and you can straighten them out kind of. You can actually break this out and pull it out if you just want more floor space or you can put this by itself. But you got a lot of orange parts on here and some sand green parts, which is nice. Haven't seen those parts used since, well, basically Harry Potter, which, or I haven't had a set um, that those are used in, with, in since Harry Potter, the original line of Harry Potter. Um, anyway, sorry for not having the camera stable. In here, you can take a minifigure for Example, Joker, and throw him in there. Atomic. This is like the Atomic uh, computer. This is basically the back computer. But it's not a computer. This is more of the computer part, but there's no... There's no... There's no keyboard. There's no keyboard. I meant for that to happen. Of course I did. So, yeah. Then you got these uh, burp pieces. Big, ugly rock, rock pieces. Lego has the ugliest and stupidest um acronyms like snot technique studs not on top technique like that's a snot technique and um some of this is snot technique these are burp pieces these are big ugly rock pieces so yeah they're a bit ugly but you have this open space where you can do whatever you freaking want with it <clears throat> Anyway, next we have the most boring and probably won't take us up as much time as the others. Helipad, or garage place. Helipad. Uh, these are two big stickers, and I did my best to line them up as perfectly as I can. As you can see, it's not perfect. And this one, this sticker actually overlays the, the brick that it's on. <sighs> because I'm bad at stickering. Please don't get mad at me, guys. Um, But yeah, you just... Take your helicopter, put it on there. Done. Display. Done. But then you have this garage place with some little stones or whatnot and ramps. As for the Batmobile or the uh, Bat Cycle or whatever it's called, motorcycle. Um, and it just rests on those two bumps instead of resting like that or like that. It rests on those two bumps. Now, the biggest complaint I have with this uh, thing is that once you get the tires over, it's not on the tires at all. It's on the tires back here, but not up here. Or it's basically like that, and it's just scraping the bottom. So, that's pretty stupid. And I kind of would have liked if there was a little gate back here that created a, a way out of the back cave, but... So, I, I actually don't know why they didn't do that. Thank you for releasing. So, yeah. This set is now in a lot of pieces, and I need to put it back on display up there. Yeah, I got a New York sticker. So, what? Kill me. <clears throat> actually, it's not. I didn't get it. My mom did for my Christmas. I got a lot of things for Christmas. Go check out my Christmas haul video. This is in it, but it's not complete. It's a box. Which, I also have right there next to the Death Star, which I got... Two years ago? Yeah, at this point, it's two years ago. And this Christmas, it'll be three years of having my child. Of my firstborn, then my second. My secondborn child is a devastator. This is like... Not... This is like my th thirdborn. Anyway, um... I'll see you guys, uh... On Saturday for not a weekly update, um, but for another review. <clears throat> it's not a movie review. It's not a game. I almost spoiled what it was. <clears throat> it's a. Uh, it's gonna be a. Um, <clears throat> a different review type that I've done only once, and it's about. A certain thing that if you follow me on Twitter, you would know about. You would know about this certain thing that I have a dislike for. It was actually, like, my first tweet. So, go follow me on Twitter. <coughs> Link it will be in the description at some point. I get really lazy while making these videos, and I forget to put those in. Anyway, see you guys. Uh,